Fates has ordained that the men who went to the moon to explore in peace will stay on the moon to rest in peace. These brave men, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin, know that there is no hope for their recovery. So you've just watched Richard Nixon reading these words and penned by the speechwriter William Sapphire. Now the most disturbing thing about the video is that it is, of course, fake. And it is a very convincing one at that. It's Ruzi here and welcome back to another episode of What the FX. So before we get started guys, this is just a message to everyone who may watch this video. If you don't watch any of my previous videos, just watch this one. It is about creating awareness for the misinformation that is happening in our society today, especially surrounding deep fake videos, which is what this episode is about. So stay tuned. So what we've just watched was a deep fake video called In Case of a Moon Disaster. And this was created by some MIT scientists and professors. This was obviously using machine learning to recreate Nixon saying these words, which are obviously not 100% true. They used a voice actor and machine deep learning to combine the two and create the video that you see before you. So before we get into deep fakes, I think the real question we need to ask ourselves here is, how do we know if something is real when we are presented with information? We get told by C CBS and CNN, and we have news anchors telling us what information we need to hear, but how do we really know what is real? You know, one questions this kind of thing. And that leads us to what is deepfake video? Simply put, deepfake video is taking the audio and video or an image of someone and synthesizing it to make it look as if it's doing or saying something else. Know that there is no hope for their recovery. So deepfake is a combination of deep learning and fake. Fake meaning it is synthesized and deep learning means it's a particular artificial intelligence technique called deep learning. So basically, it's an artificial neural network based approach. Simply put, each image is made up of pixels. Those pixels are over however many frames will give you lots and lots of data. You then have an output and input. Output data being your original video and your input data being the actor saying whatever they like. Deep learning will then calculate the data and combine the two sources to create a simple yet effective deepfake video. So here is the problem. I'm skeptical of any information I receive nowadays because of all the fake news out there. It may be a trending topper on Twitter that's actually being pushed by bots. It may be an outrage meme that you see on Facebook that may be completely irrelevant or an imposter content created with a logo that's being completely fabricated. There are a myriad of ways we can be faked out nowadays in our society. Now deepfake will take this to the next level where it will become hard if not impossible to detect what is real and what is not. And deepfake can be an incredibly powerful tool in many, many various applications. The thing is, if timed right and used in the right context, it can create mass panic and even riots. So as a society, we lose the gatekeepers of information. And are we really ready for something like that? Now, currently, the technology is out there. Personally, I'm working on a deepfake video myself. And it is immensely taxing on resources to make it really believable. But the thing is, is that it doesn't have to be an extremely well-crafted deepfake video for people to believe it, which is a scary, scary fact. Now, not surprisingly, unfortunately, that the biggest deepfake content currently out there is being used for pornography. And it is a massive, massive business. And it is a scary statistic that 90% of most of the pornographic deepfake content out there is women that have been used without their consent, which is not okay in any way, shape or form. And that is one of the dangers of deep fake videos. Guys, we're talking about identity here. It's what you look like, it's who you are, it's your legacy. That is really what you are as a person. And when people can steal that, when people can use it against you, it can be extremely damaging and can ruin people's lives. Okay, so the good thing is there are techniques used to detect deep fake videos and much in the same way that they would create them they simply reverse engineer the algorithms to detect what deep fake videos would produce and look for specific artificial keys that will pick up a deep fake video now as much as we still have the technology to detect deep fake videos in december 2019 facebook ran a challenge called the deep fake detection challenge over a hundred thousand entries were submitted for reporting 
2,000 participants, over 25,000 detection models were submitted for entry and there was only one winner and they had an accuracy rating of 65%. Only 65%, it's quite a fact. Now deepfakes can be incredibly powerful. Could you imagine one day being a scientist and being given a lecture by Albert Einstein himself or being a literature major and having Ernest Hemingway or William Shakespeare giving you a one-on-one -on -one direction on how to write. Incredibly, incredibly powerful stuff, which will be coming in the next few years. But unfortunately, human nature is not that way. And this is my message to anyone who is watching this video. Be more aware of the content you consume. Where does the content come from? Is it trying to elicit an emotional response from you to get you to share it quickly? Have you corroborated the sources? Make sure you ask yourself these questions. Don't be naive, be aware. There have been numerous social psychology studies that say even if something is a lie, but it fits our belief structure and we are told that lie, we will believe it anyway. It is hard to admit, but humans are the bug in the code. It is not the technology. We are the ones sharing, buying and passing the information along. Here is the hard truth. Deepfake videos are coming. That is a fact and it will be here sooner than you realize. The real question is, is it going to be used for pro-social ways or is it going to be used for negative ways? The only question you need to ask yourself is, what role do you play in the power of this tech? Thank you so much for watching this very sobering episode of What's the FX. I hope it maybe it opened your eyes a bit. Maybe it's going to make you go and find out what's going on in the world when it comes to deep fake videos. But I really, really hope you enjoyed it and maybe you learned something. It's Ruzi here. I will catch you guys on the next level.